Hello friends, how are you all? I welcome you to today's session and in today's session we will be going to see the 5 myths which can lead you to failure in a bad grade examination and this will be taught to you by me. So without wasting our time, let's quickly get started and let's get to decode these 5 myths. But before that student, I would like to all of you to go and subscribe to our Hollywood and Hollywood regulatory channel and along with that, you can also download our app in order to see fantastic and amazing courses okay so students as we all know diwali is on its way diwali is coming right diwali is coming so along with burning some crackers not too much because we have to take care of the environment also so along with burning some crackers let us burn these myths also okay along with burning some crackers let us burn these myths which are associated with nabad grade a examination right okay so let's start by seeing the first myth the first myth which is famous and popular among student is that in nabad grade a examination you will get rural posting right but that is not at all true sir and ma'am you will never get rural posting. Sometimes you have to do the field visit when it comes to NABAD grade A posting. Why? Because you will be an officer, an officer, a grade A officer. So obviously you have to oversee the implementations of the management of the schemes which are associated with the rural India. But it does not mean that you will be living in rural India. Yes, obviously you will be seeing and enjoying the scenic beauty of rural India sometimes during the field visit. But the posting, will, the posting that you will be getting will be at the regional will be at the regional and the district headquarter so when it comes to the regional headquarters the regional headquarters are generally are generally located in the capital city of any state okay so if you will get a, if you will go to the regional offices you will be getting into the capital of the states along with that if you will get the district office you will be living in the working in the district headquarter and district headquarter is also one of the prominent city of that district so obviously you will be working in cities you will be working in cities but but along with that you will be doing what you will be doing field visits right you will be doing field visits and these with the help of these field visits you will be seeing rural india to seeing beautiful rural India. Okay. So, basically, what I am trying to say is that after getting this job, after getting this job, your life will be in a hybrid mode. Okay. Your life will work in a hybrid mode. Okay. Your life will work in a hybrid mode what type of mode hybrid mode okay okay meaning which you will be enjoying rural and along with that urban life so it's a hybrid life so no need to lose sleep over it that you will be getting you will be getting what rural posting yes you will be enjoying the rural scenes sometimes during the field visit but it is not at all true that you will always get the rural posting so just stay calm stay cool and work hard for your examination and preparation so that you can become grade a officer as soon as possible now students the second most important myth here is that the level of questions which are asked in rbi okay the level of questions which are asked in rbi is what the level of questions which are asked in nabad okay Meaning which we can say that RBI is equal to NABAR. But again students, this is also not at all correct. This is also not at all correct that RBI is equal to NABAR. Why I am saying that this is not at all correct? Just see the level of the questions. Just see the level of the question. Here, this question is associated with, this question is associated with RBI. Okay this question has been asked in rbi you can just see the level of the question which has been asked here the question is about a scheme about a scheme known as popularly known as sovagin gold bond scheme okay the question is here about a scheme known as sovagin gold bond scheme and in sovagin gold bond scheme we have been given three statements right 
statements we have been given is three we have been given three statements in the sovagin gold bond scheme which are you know this statement that is investors are paid fixed rate up of 2.5 percent issue price is less by rupees 50 a certificate of holding will be issued at the redemption after eight years and these bonds are not sold through offices of the scheduled foreign banks meaning what you have to dig down and learn more analytically about this sovagin gold bond scheme in order to answer this question which has been asked from rbi right now when it comes to nabad let me show you a question of nabad this is a question of nabad wherein the simple it is a very simple question that i'm um, under mg narega additional work days for dash drought prone areas meaning which this is a question which is which is being asked about a very famous scheme of nabad that is mg narega so whenever you will start preparing for nabad you will obviously encounter mg narega why why because it is you know one of the most famous scheme that is being run under the that is being run under the management of nabad so yes this name is obviously too much popular this name is obviously too much popular but the question that you are getting from the from this name is the question that you are getting from this name is too easy right the question is too easy you can answer it very easily if you have ever encountered mg narega once even during your preparation and i'm damn sure that you will encounter because nabad can nabad one of the one of the most prominent scheme of nabad is mg narega so yes this is the level of question which is being asked in nabad and this is the level of question which is are being asked in which has been asked in rbi so yes we can say that in rbi we will find in rbi we will find moderate to hard questions maximum questions can be in the bracket of moderate to hard here also we will see easy question but maximum questions are considered to be moderate to hard range whereas in nabad we will find maximum question under easy to moderate range theek hai to easy to moderate range mein jo hai tumko yahan pe questions kafi dikhta hai and hence this is a big myth that the level of question which is being asked in rbi and which is being asked in nabad is equal they are not at all equal okay ye dono equal nahi hai okay now let's move to the third myth and this is also a very popular myth that agriculture students have an add on advantage when it comes to nabad okay but the fact here is student that agriculture students basically do practical learning they are more focused their course is more focused toward practical learning but the questions which are being asked in nabad the questions which are being asked in nabad from the ard segments from the ard segment is generally theoretical that is it is static question and you can learn this static question you can learn this static question just like the way you learn ga that is general awareness right so just like ga you can learn the static questions of ard so ard is equal to ga which means which means what which means static learning and nothing more than that which means static learning and nothing more than that right so obviously agriculture students do not have agriculture students do not have an edge okay do not have an edge yes they are have they are having just you know 0.5% of in advantage or you can say just you know 0.5 to 1% of advantage that's it that is is 0.5 to 1% advantage and not more than that why because the questions are the questions in ard are generally static in nature okay the questions in ard are static in nature and you can learn them the same way you are learning the same way you are learning what the same way you are learning general awareness okay so just keep calm and learn the way you are learning and don't get feared from the agriculture and reforms question these are there are 40 questions and nearly 
स्टूडेंट्स आउट ऑफ फोर्टी थर्टी क्वेश्चन ओके आउट ऑफ फोर्टी थर्टी क्वेश्चन फॉल इन इजी टू मॉडरेट कैटेगरी थर्टी क्वेश्चन फॉल इन इजी टू मॉडरेट कैटेगरी एंड यू कैन आंसर देम वेरी इजिली राइट यू कैन आंसर देम वेरी इजिली एंड योर गोल शुड बी टू क्लियर द कट ऑफ ओके योर गोल शुड बी टू क्लियर द कट ऑफ ओके विथ smiling faces right so you have to just clear the cut off and you have to think about this only that how would you clear the cut off and ace this examination you need not to do a master degree in agriculture in order to crack this examination you have to do what you have to clear the cut off so since you have to clear the cut off do not get feared from agriculture reform section yes the questions are not that hard that you will have to face any repercussions okay now the fourth myth is time management right now let why i am telling that it is a myth because many students think that since there is no sectional time there is no sectional time in no sectional time in nabard grade examination and hence they are not concerned they are they have no worries and why because of that they can skip the mocks because in banking examinations we have generally seen that there are sectional cut off right so students try to give as much mark mocks as possible so that they remain and they complete their subjects or the sections within a particular time frame but here are no sectional time and hence student prefer not to give mocks but this is a big mistake why it is a big mistake student why not giving mocks is a big mistake let me tell you why because there are multiple subjects okay english plus quant plus reasoning plus computer okay plus decision making these are the five subjects english quant reasoning computer and decision making and along with that we have along with that we have esi we have ard and we have ga we have ga so this section students this section is basically the merit section and this section is qualifying in nature this section is qualifying in nature and the average time that we get to compete or complete this question is one because we have 200 questions and we have to do it in 120 minutes okay 120 minutes and 200 questions so the average time what one gets is 1.6 that is 1 minute and 6 seconds so obviously time management is the key if you will not manage time if you will not manage time how would we how would you able to solve nearly 200 questions within a time frame of 120 minutes that is 2 hour you are having a reasoning questions okay quant questions these are the sections which will take your more time which will take your more time so obviously you have to manage the time efficiently so that so that you can ace even these sections also and you can focus on these sections also because they are the merit ones these three subjects are the merit deciders okay so you have to rethink and you must rethink and give the mocks as much as you can as much as you can why why i am telling you to give as much mocks as you can so that the time can be managed and you can clear this examination now the very last myth is that there is no variations in job role people think people think that it is a very boring job it is a very boring job because it is not non adventurous okay it is non adventurous and bogus but that is not the case but that is not the case that is not the case it is adventurous okay it is adventurous that is not the case that it is non adventurous why because you will be giving the responsibility the sole responsibility to change to change nearly half of the india half of india plus you will be having the golden opportunity to serve nearly 
फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ओके तो यू विल बी ब्लेस्ड टू गेट अ गोल्डन ऑपरचुनिटी टू सर्व नियरली फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ओके टू सर्व नियरली फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट यू विल बी हैविंग एन ऑपरचुनिटी टू चेंज द फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया यू यू विल बी द सोल अथॉरिटी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मैनेजिंग द स्कीम्स मैनेजिंग पीपल और स्टाफ और गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट मैनेजिंग द स्कीम्स ओके सो यस यू हैव टू बी अ गुड मैनेजर इन ऑर्डर टू बी अ गुड ग्रेड ए ऑफिसर राइट यू हैव टू बी अ गुड मैनेजर इन ऑर्डर टू बी अ गुड ग्रेड ए ऑफिसर सो यस देर आर वेरिएशन इन जॉब रोल एंड यस यू विल गेट मल्टीपल चैलेंजेस वाइल डूइंग दिस जॉब यू विल बी इक्वेलेंट टू एन आई एस ऑफिसर सो यस इट इज अ वेरी गुड जॉब रोल सो डू नॉट फियर योर लाइफ विल नॉट बी बोरिंग your life will be very blessed if you clear this examination why because you will get a golden opportunity to serve the people of the country and very less people are there who get this golden opportunity so do not lose sleep over it that it is a very bad job role and don't even think that you can manage time without giving the mocks you must you should give the mocks along with that no agriculture students have any advantage and the level of question is very easy as compared to rbi and yes you will not get rural posting but you will visit and enjoy the scenic beauty of rural india so in and all we can conclude that yes this job has its own perks and benefits and we all know that every job have some advantages and disadvantages according to your benefits but this job is not having any disadvantage according to me you will be sitting at a place and working for, working for the half of the people you know with a with just a proper management so yes it's a very good job profile you should not think over it and you should learn in a very efficient manner so that you can ace it it is very easy when com as compared to rbi so keep learning keep growing we'll be coming with more such sessions in front of you again at the same place till then thank you very much and bye bye